This is you. This is your professor. Your professor gives you a research assignment for your class. Choose a topic and use the library to find books and articles. After some thought, you've come up with the topic question you're interested in. How does Twitter affect the way people talk to each other? What's next? The journey from choosing your topic to completing your assignment is called the research process. It's made up of necessary steps you should complete to be successful in finding what you need when you need it. Choosing your topic is an important part of that. Remember to be flexible throughout the process. Your finished topic may not look like your original one. It might be too broad or too narrow. There may not be enough information on your topic, or you may find a more interesting one. Just remember to keep an open mind. Once you have an idea of your topic, you may be tempted to head straight for the library databases to begin your search, but you might not find what you need. This does not mean you have a bad topic. Once you've thought of a topic based on your discipline or interest, you should look for background information. This will help to define your topic and maybe steer you in the direction you want to research. As you search for this background information, look for key words that you may be able to use as search terms within the databases. These may be words that you keep seeing as you read through the information on your topic. They can be synonyms or related terms. A great way to get starting keywords is to work with your topic question. Because you shouldn't enter the way people talk to each other into our search box, you come up with the word communication to mean the same thing. You now have the keywords Twitter and communication. You want to find articles that mention both in the same article, so you join them with the word and. What if you do this search but you're not finding what you're looking for? You can edit those keywords based on the results you get. You might broaden Twitter to social media or use personal communication to focus in on how people communicate with each other. Another way is to start with your hypothesis of the topic. How does Twitter affect the way people talk to each other? You think that people are meaner on Twitter than in real life. What words could you search? Twitter and anger or aggression? Anger and aggression are synonyms, so you want to get articles that include either term. You can do this with the word or. Based on those results, you can broaden Twitter to social media again. One result is on cyberbullying. That's it. You decide you like the subject. You already found some articles, so you want that to be your final topic. As you can see, your topic changed throughout the process of choosing your topic, finding background information, creating keywords, and searching for articles. Working through your topic is an important part of the research process. Thank you.